What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Soul Vice. My name is Steven Webb and today I'm going to be comparing the soon to be released Air Jordan 1 High OG Royal Toe to the 2018 pair of Air Jordan 1 High OG Game Royal. I'm going to show you all the differences um, and I'm going to let you know which one I like more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the comparison. All right guys, so here they are in beautiful crispy 4K. Over here on the left we've got the Air Jordan 1 High OG Royal Toe and over on the right Air Jordan 1 High OG Game Royal. Now, if you want a pair of the Royal Toe, these are going to be releasing this coming Saturday on May 9th. This is not going to be an easy release if you're looking to get these. Um, these are a lot more hyped up, actually, than I was expecting them to be. Um, but they are hyped nonetheless, and it is a Jordan 1, so there's probably not going to be a whole lot of pairs going around. Uh, they should be releasing online pretty much at all your usual suspects. Obviously, Sneakers app is uh, going to be releasing these. You're going to get them on your foot sites. At least Foot Locker and Foot Action, I'm sure, is going to have them, but I wouldn't be surprised if they show up on East Bay and Champs as well. I'm sure Finish Line is going to get them, so um, just check that out. If you want to get a kind of like more comprehensive list of retailers, Soul Links um, is pretty good at um, you know giving a list of retailers that are going to be uh, releasing these. So that's the Royal Toes. Uh, the Game Royals just came out in 2018, uh, kind of toward the beginning of the year. Um, I want to say March or April. So these are releasing pretty much two years apart. Um, so in that time span, we've got two Game Royal Jordan 1s. Uh, each are pretty different from each other, actually. Um, but they're both solid releases, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and uh, go over the differences. So the biggest difference, obviously, is going to be the color blocking. So color blocking on these is going to be very similar to another uh, couple of pairs of Air Jordan 1s that released back in the end of 2018, I want to say November 2018. A couple of very hyped up, very limited Jordan 1s. That's going to be the not for resale or no L's Jordan 1s. There was a red pair and a yellow pair. So the only difference with color blocking between these and those is going to be the toe box. So you've got a color matched Game Royal toe box on these. Those two had a white toe box. But other than that, they're exactly the same. You had the colored ankle collar up here. And then the um, outsole was color matched as well. But everything else, exactly the same. All the black panels are identical. Um, and then you also had this white Air Jordan Wings logo up here on the ankle collar. I am not a fan of this logo. Um, I know some people are, but to me, this just stands out in kind of a bad way. I really like it when it's a little bit more subtle. Um, but nonetheless, you've got the white wings air jordan logo um, now there was one other pair that was very similar which is going to be the gym red air jordan ones you had the white toe box like the no l's but the colored portions were going to be the ankle collar which is obviously the same um, and then the swoosh so instead of a black swoosh you had a gym red swoosh and then the uh, outsole was black so they just swapped the outsole and the swoosh uh, which for me that was a bad idea i reviewed those if you want to click up I'm gonna link that up in the corner here. I was not a fan of that red swoosh. I don't know, it just looked really weird on the white panel here, surrounded by all the black leather. I don't know, something about it just rubbed me the wrong way. So I'm glad on these, they went with a black swoosh. I think that looks much, much better. Um, but yeah, so those are the color blocking kind of inspirations for this pair, um, not an OG color blocking. So that to me is the biggest difference between these and the Game Royal ones. So Game Royal ones over here, again, 2018. This is OG color blocking. So everything on this shoe that's blue, flip that to red, and you've got Chicago Air Jordan 1s. One slight caveat, the tongue. So these, same nylon tongue, but it's black instead of white. Um, but that is literally the only difference between these and Chicago's. Um, so I consider that OG color blocking. Um, so these, much, much cleaner in my opinion. Now, speaking of color blocking, these are getting compared to another pair that I am extremely confused. I do not understand why these are getting compared to them, and that's going to be the Fragment Air Jordan 1s. Uh, now, blue, black, and white, same colors, so sure, I guess that's similar, but other than that, these are completely different in my opinion. There's really not too many panels that are similar on these. Um, so on the Fragment Air Jordan 1s, not only are they different color blocked, but those are also OG color blocked. Uh, those are going to be black toe color blocking. So um, if you know what the black toes look like, literally just change the red panels to blue and you've got your fragment Air Jordan 1s. So the only, color, uh, the only panels on the royal toe that are similar to uh, the fragments is just the black leather that goes around the border here. The ankle's different, ankle collar's different. Um, 
So I, I don't understand. I guess the outsole is the same and then the white panel too. But I mean, they're very, very different. So for example, if you wanted to create a custom Air Jordan 1 fragment out of one of these two shoes, you're going to pick the, the Game Royals every single day. <laughs> like they're, they're way easier to change. Like literally the only thing you have to do to change these to fragments is change this border and go around the toe with black. You've got your fragment Jordan 1s, obviously, of course, other than the uh, the fragment logo there on the heel. But I mean, obviously this is a much, much closer comparison to the fragment one. So I don't really get that comparison. Um, I think maybe that's just a very iconic, highly sought after Air Jordan 1. So anytime you get a black, blue and white Jordan 1, maybe people want to compare it. So I guess in that aspect, I understand why, but um, I think in general, these are very, very different from Fragment Air Jordan 1s. So other differences, color blocking wise, on the Royal Toes, you've got a black insole with uh, Game Royal uh, Nike Air branding there on the ankle or on the heel, I mean. And then over here on the Game Royals, you've got a white insole with what used to be Game Royal uh, Nike Air branding. Uh, so I got these before I was given the tip of putting um, clear packing tape on the uh, the heel logos. Um, I'm going to just give you a quick tip. If you don't know, you probably do because I'm sure all of you out there who's watching this right now are much smarter than I am. Um, but the logos on the inside on the insole, especially on Jordan 1s, that rubs off like instantly. You put those on, wear them for, an ha for a half an hour, and those logos are going to be gone. So what you can do... So you can see on the inside of my Varsity Reds, just put that clear pla uh, packing tape. I can't speak right now, but put the clear packing tape right there over those labels and that logo down there. And that's going to stay nice and fresh for you. Just don't go and try and peel that off because it's going to rub off just like a temporary tattoo. Um, but yeah, quick little tip there. So uh, that's the other difference as far as the, uh, the color blocking. Now the colors themselves, I hope you can see this on the camera but the game royal on the royal toes is a little bit deeper a little bit darker than over here on the game royals this is a little bit lighter um not really a good or a bad thing i can take or leave either one if they're not right side by side each other then you're not even really going to notice um, but then also the midsole now this could just be because these are older and i've worn them outside a lot um, but as you can see, the white between these two is different. Uh, this is definitely a cleaner, truer white over here on the Royal, on the Royal Toes. Um, and then the outsole, you can see, is a different color too. Now, you might be like, well, of course, dummy, you wore the Game Royals. Um, but even if you look like right here in the middle, um, that's like a, you know, recessed area on the, uh, the outsole there that doesn't really touch the ground very much. And you can see it's much different to the uh, the game royal or the royal toes over here on the left. So um, quite a bit different coloring there. So again, not a good or a bad thing. Just something I thought I would note uh, that I noticed that I should let you know. And if I can talk, I'm <laughs> letting you know now about the materials. So we went over all the differences in color. Material wise, I actually like the royal toes a little bit better. So the leather here, it's a thicker leather, softer, more plush. Um, this is the opposite thinner, not quite as plush, not quite as soft. The only leather panel that I can find on these that's like decent leather, um, is going to be right around the toe here. This leather is actually not too bad. It's a pretty, um, soft kind of thicker panel of leather. So for me, I like the softer plusher leather. If it's going to be, you know, kind of a, a thinner cut of leather, right? Cause you've got like these over here again, I'm going to bring these back out. These are pretty stiff, pretty smooth, not the softest leather, obviously, um, but it's full grain leather. So the panels are nice and thick. This is durable. This is going to last a really long time. Um, it's going to break in really well, I think. Obviously, time will tell on that. But um, to me, it's got to be one or the other. If you're not going to give me super smooth, buttery, soft, plush leather, uh, you better give me some freaking full grain leather that I can, you know, wear these, you know, hiking Mount Everest and I'm going to come back and they're going to be in one piece. Um, this is kind of like in the middle to me and not really my favorite. So as far as the leather quality, I'm going to give the nod to the, uh, the Royal toes over here. So as far as the leather goes, not only the quality is different, but these have like a glossy shiny finish to them, which again, not a good or a bad thing. 
Um, some people like it, some people don't. I'm not a huge fan of it. It kind of reminds me of like when you get your car washed and you can clean the inside, obviously. And a lot of people use Armor All and it gets all super shiny. And to me, I don't like that look. It just kind of looks greasy and kind of gross. These are not that exaggerated, but still, I'd rather have kind of that matte flat finish on the leather. I'm a bigger fan of that. Uh, so just a kind of a small thing there. Now, when you're looking at the heel on these, the, uh, the ankle, the ankle collar lining here on the Royal Toes is going to be the newer, um, lining that I, I think I first noticed this on the Jim Red ones, um, but it's a lot softer, a lot more plush, um, more padded. So definitely more comfortable than the ankle collar that they used back in 2018. It's going to be like more like a mesh. Uh, but it's rougher, not quite as comfy. So again, I'm going to give the nod to uh, to the Royal Toe on that. Um, and then I think the last thing material-wise is going to be the tag here on the tongue. So on these new pairs, we're getting these leather tags, uh, which I like. Um, it's not an OG detail, obviously, but I think if it's an original colorway we haven't seen before, I'm all for these leather tags. I think it's a nice little upgrade on materials, um, obviously on... Older pairs on OG pairs, you get this just fabric nylon tag. So not a bad thing, but obviously leather. Well, I guess I shouldn't say obviously. Maybe some people like the nylon better. But in my opinion, I'm going to go with the leather. So again, I will give the nod to these. Um, I'm just really happy that they didn't go overboard with tumbled leather on these. It's a little bit tumbled. Um, like the toe box here is probably a little bit more textured than I would like it. But overall, these are not like crazy, crazy tumbled. Um, Jordan brand has been known to like ruin a couple pairs of Jordan 1s, at least in my opinion. Like those pine green 2.0s that came out, uh, what was it, last month or the month before? Those could have been so sick. Like that is OG color blocking, same as the breads, the royals, and the shadows, but just green. Um, but the materials on there were just crazy, like crazy tumbled. And I just hate that look. It's just way too textured. And then they changed the Wings logo here. It was like a, a leather panel that they slapped on top. Um, and they just completely trashed that shoe, in my opinion. I freaking hate that pair, which really, really sucks because I like green and black together. And it's OG color blocked. So I think those really had a lot of potential to be like one of the top Jordan 1s of the year. Um, but for whatever reason, they went and made them all crazy tumbled. And so I'm just happy that they didn't do that to these. That's definitely a plus in my opinion. So which one's better? Which one do I think is the better and the more true Game Royal Air Jordan 1? I'm going to have to go with the OG Game Royals from 2018. Uh, OG color blocking. I mean, to me, you really can't go wrong with OG color blocking. Um, if you know me, if you've been watching my channel at all, OG Jordans are what I am the most into. Give me an OG colorway of Jordans over some crazy hyped pair any day. Um, so the closer you can get to that, the better. These are Chicago color blocking, but just changed to royal blue. So I'm a huge fan of these. Royal toes are not bad, um, but not exactly my thing. So again, if you had to ask me, I'm going to go with the, the, uh, the game Royals. All right, everybody, so that pretty much wraps up the comparison, but down in the comments, let me know which one you like more. Are you guys on Team uh, Royal Toe or Team Game Royal? I'm pretty interested to see which one will win out. And then if you guys are thinking of copying these, um, they are gonna be kind of difficult to get. These are actually more hype than I was expecting, and it's a Jordan 1, so there's probably not a whole lot of pairs being released. Um, so if you want them, not gonna be the easiest cop, but I've got a tip for you guys, something that'll make it a little bit easier, increase your luck a little bit. There's a button down there at the bottom that says subscribe. Tap that and you guys are gonna have better luck. Um, at least that's what I hear anyway. I don't know, I could be wrong about that. There's also a little bell right next to that. Go ahead and click that bell. Uh, that's gonna let you guys know when I post new videos, just like this one. Um, I thought my next video was gonna be the Fire Red Fives, but I figured I'd do um, a quick little comparison between these two, because I'm a really big fan of these. Um, so next video is gonna be the Fire Red Air Jordan 5s that just dropped. I don't know when I'm gonna get them. I got them from Sneakers app, and they took away two-day shipping, so um, they haven't even shipped them yet. So I'll see when I get those. Um, but anyway, when I do get them, I'm going to get a review and I will see you guys later.